Hello, good all you fellow dusty dogs and travelers of the trails out there. My name is Dusty Yoti here for DIOT Gaming, and welcome back to Winds of Change. Last time we met up with, we finally hit um, Mazeo, uh, met up with Domic, and had a meeting with Grizz where we had to choose between the pirate cap pirate lords Alex and Nada. I sided with Alex. Um, also, uh, Chad also. I had a couple of people in here last time who were. Helping me influence that decision, and they chose Alex as well. So yeah, <laughs> uh, generally Alex, which which finally got us a little bit on the purity and actually raised the group morale to a hundred percent. So I kind of want to check out Mazeo Tavern, but I'm gonna go to the docks first. Yes, I'm gonna go to docks first. So yeah, that's where we are, and now here we go. When we arrive at the docks, we finally get a close-up view of everything. It's a massive shipyard, with vessels both arriving and departing. People run in every direction, a mixture of workers and pirates. I suppose they share the same workspace. It's interesting how I can discern a pirate from their clothes and demeanor. After a few steps into the shipyard, we're surrounded by tons of people. Hey, stick close to me. Wouldn't want to get lost, right? The inch is closer to me, and we make our way through the shipyard. It must be their busy hour or something, because we can barely move. People bump into us and apologize before moving on their way. We're heading to that bridge up there. He points forward to a bridge in the distance. At this rate, it would take hours to get there. Fortin lets out an exasperated sigh. Seriously? How much longer is this going to be? Mosea looks pretty big, so <laughs> it could take a while. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Fortin. We'll be able to rest before you know it. Enjoy the journey. Mazeo is beautiful. All right. Fortum continues walking, defeated. As we inch our way forward, we start to lose hope. However, it isn't long before that hope is kindled again. Hey, Domek! Who are you? I already like your face profile. A voice shouts from high up, and we turn to look. There's a man at the top of one of the ships acting, acting as a lookout. After seeing Domek, he quickly makes his way down to all of us. He slides down a ladder, quickly making his way to the surface. Standing on the edge of the ship, he grips the railing tight. Where have you been? Feels like I haven't seen you in ages. He jumps over the edge of the ship, landing on the ground with style. I can tell he's a pirate, and he must be another ally. That was good. In the upcoming battle, we need as many allies as possible. Grayson, it's so good to see you again. Don't worry, it's nothing personal. I'm just busy. We've been cooking up something really special. Special, huh? Well, that's all you had to say. You know I've got your back in everything. Well, I hope so. Domic steps closer and whispers in Grayson's ear. No doubt he's confiding in Grayson about a recent choice. Oh, an alliance? Beautiful. We'll be working together more then. And I must say, you made a fine decision, Domic. Cool. <laughs> I wonder if he had chosen Nada if he'd be going, you ass. <laughs> he smiles and makes an interesting signal with his arms. A few moments later, a bunch of people in our way quickly move. Gotta get back to the church, I'm guessing? Sorry about my crew. They're good at getting in the way. In fact, I'm not sure what else they're good for these days. So this must be one of the captains under Alex. Because he's... He's making people out of the way. He's pleased with the decision. Um, yeah. Between every few words, he glances behind Domic. His eyes shift between Valesa, Fortum, and myself. Can I help you with something? Oh, sorry, not at all. It just looks familiar, that's all. Like some pirates Nada used to work with. I'm sorry, what? Familiar. <laughs> Chris said the same thing, actually. Just one of those faces, I guess. No, 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 Valessa, have you missed the part about pirates that Nada used to work with? Could you maybe fucking explain a little bit here, Grayson? I don't know why. 
I don't know why I had to go with the Scotch Irish accent. Cause you may be explaining things a bit here, Grayson. <laughs> I do have a little bit of that in my dad's background, but <laughs> it didn't. Like it comes out at the most awkward moments. Like if I'm extremely like excited or something, or like irritated, it comes out. I don't know why. <laughs> Not just any faces, mind you. I was taken aback because you looked like legends. A few infamous pirates from back in the day, you know? Again, can you please explain, like, a little bit more? Pirates? No relation, I assure you. I have a theory. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut until it's confirmed. <laughs> until it's either confirmed or denied. She laughs and Grayson nods. Yeah, just a small world. It seems like he's unsure if that's an insult or not. And for that matter, so does Valessa. Grayson lets it slide. A few moments later, he climbs up a netting on the side of the ship. It isn't much longer until he's back to the top mast, looking out. He shouts to his crew and they move aside, leaving an open trail for us. Are all of these pirates his crew? He must be a man of great influence. It's always good to have friends in high places. There's still people wandering the shipyard, but not as many as before. In fact, we'd be able to continue forward without any issue at all. That was Grayson. We go way back. He's a great ally, and he'll have our back no matter what. I doubt he cares whether we sided with Alex or Nada. That was good. His crew seemed massive. The ship as well was in pristine condition. Was in pristine condition. Well then, on we go. As he talks, he motions to the bridge once more. We'd give each other some space, happy to be moving freely again. I guess we could resume our journey without any struggles. Okay, we do have a couple of interesting little things here, so let's go to the Sovi. Sovi 5. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, there was no seat change! <laughs> oh no. Oh, please tell me they're like. Please tell me they're like five feet away! <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me they're like six feet away and they don't notice us. <laughs> Although that would honestly freak me the fuck out. <laughs> they stuck to... <laughs> Sophie and his crew wandered the crowded docks of Maseo. They stuck close together to ensure that Shane didn't run away. Jesus Christ, I'm still caught off guard by the fact that there is... We are in the exact same seat as before. <laughs> There is no difference here. <laughs> Most of the Rebellion's home, Shovey was sure it crossed his mind. Well, you sure seem a lot happier. Back on the boat, all you did was mope around. Shovey scoffed, turning to face his apprentice. <sighs> Seasickness, I suppose. As old as I am, I've never really gotten used to it. You can't be too much older than me. Right. Sorry. Besides, I think I know what's going on. You realize something about the Triumvirate. Yes, I did. I see through the trick now. It was a good idea. I'll give them that. Trick? Yes, to put my loyalty to the test. There's no way what they told me was true. They merely want to see if I'll waver. I see. That's why they wouldn't tell you either. This was a test, meant only for me. So, what happens now that you've passed? It's like a weird rubbing noise outside, like a revving. I don't know. I hope it doesn't come through on the mic. It does for- <laughs> I can hear it, I just hope it doesn't come through on the mic. I guess I'll find out once we return. I'm just glad that I can focus on the mission now. Right. I'm glad too, I suppose. On the boat, you were in no condition to perform. After a few more minutes of walking, Stovey stops in his tracks. Halen and Shane bump into his back, causing him to stumble over. Master? Oh, sorry. Just... a lot on my mind. Oh, we're not lost, are we? 
So we stay as a cloaked figure. Oh my god! Oh no! He smirks as he watches them walk through the docks with the group. A large item affixed to the fact sways with each of their heavy steps. No, not at all. Oh fuck! Oh shit! He noticed. All right, let's have a talk with Velessa and cool down a little bit after that. <laughs> what do you think of Maseo so far? It's interesting, to say the least. It's a lot busier than I thought it would be. It makes Valenworth look dead by comparison. I'm actually longing for that peace again, though. This place is chaotic. There's so much going on. Hopefully the Rebel HQ will be a bit like home. Uh, what do you think of Tomic? He seems to know what he's doing. I mean, I had some doubts going into this, actually, but he's proven himself to be a capable leader. I like how charismatic he is, you know? It's a lot easier to follow somebody like that. Some people demand respect. He yearns it. What are your thoughts on Pro? To be honest, I'm actually not sure. He seems nice, but I have my doubts. There's just something about him, you know? It doesn't help that he likes to cheat people. That's probably it. He is on our side, though, so I doubt we have to worry about him cheating us. Bit of water there. Uh, what do you think about Ulrich? He's the strongest person I've ever met. I'm sure he'll be protecting us a lot in the future. I don't really have anything bad to say about him. He can be stern, but he has the best intentions. I mean, he has no patience for wasting time. Him and Fortson make an interesting combo. And speaking of which, how are things between you and Fortum? Pretty good, actually. I was worried. You know, about some of the choices you had to make. We've never really let them get between us, though. Unless there's something he's not telling me, but I doubt it. He's always been fully open with me in the past. I wouldn't worry about anything at all, Seer. Okay, cool. We had a little... spot there. Uh... Okay, so... I have yet to go to the tavern yet, but it's like, I don't know if that'll decrease morale. So I'm just gonna go ahead and head onwards to the Church of Mosea. After what feels like ages, we reach the end of the bridge. We all stop and catch our breath and let our legs relax. Domic wipes some sweat from his brow, laughing. Oh, bit of a workout, isn't it? Hopefully the trek was worth it. So, what do you think of our home? He stands proud, staring at the nearby church. After getting our bearings back, we look on in awe. Whoa, this place is crazy. I've never seen anything like it before. Notre Dame de Mazeo? Yeah, it sure stands out, doesn't it? Don't worry, that works to our advantage. When hiding, I find the most obvious spot is the best. I guess they'd never expect their own church. But here's a question. Why are there only two statues? It's the triumvirate, right? Shouldn't there be three? Yeah, that's actually a fair question. Although I haven't really checked out the church yet, so... I mean, still. I don't know, actually. It's a bit odd when you think about it. Maybe they didn't have enough space? It's like the clearest section of town. They would have had space. Where is my... There we are. He laughs, awkwardly shuffling in place. Perhaps he found his ignorance embarrassing. I trust you're ready for the grand tour? I nod, looking over to Valessa and Fortin. It seemed our long journey was over. We were here. We're not gonna have a break, though, if he's right fucking behind us. Uh, this is our new home, whether we liked it or not. Yeah. I can't wait to see. End game. Let's do this. They both smile, ready to get things moving. Dominic takes a few steps up the stairs and waves me over. After you, of course. It would be rude to do this any other way. An esteemed guest of ours should always be first. I nod and get ready to enter the church. Ulrich, Pro, Pro Valessa, and Fortum wait for my move. Seems almost everybody respected Dominic's authority. 
We have a Grizz. Grizz sits at his desk with his head in his hands, emotionally drained. Lilith enters his office, showing concern, but decides to talk business instead. Grizz, sir. The papers have been sent back out. Alex and Nada should know momentarily. Slightly shocked, Grizz shakes his head and rests his hands on his desk. Thank you, Lilith. I couldn't do this without you. You give me too much credit. I'm just a glorified paper pusher. You do all the heavy lifting, you know. He sighs and rests back in his chair. <sighs> and it's starting to weigh down on me. Lilith, can we talk off the record for a moment? Of course, sir. Anytime you'd like. It's about the occupation. As you know, I was involved with it. Yeah, but that was ages ago. It's all in the past. You're a better man now. Aw, that's sweet of you. That's the funny thing about the past, Lilith. It always has its way of catching up with you. What do you mean? Honestly, I wouldn't know where to start. But recently, Tomek agreed to work with me. I wanted exclusive access to Mazeo's spirit idol. You lost me. I want to atone for what I've done, Lilith. So many spirits trapped in those suits of armor. An eternity of mindless servitude to the Triumvirate. And you can fix that with the spirit idol? I hope so. Part of me always had some doubt. But today, I realize that this is my destiny. I can't doubt it or hide from it any longer. Destiny? I'm not sure I buy into that stuff. I'd rather call the shots myself, you know? Well, maybe purpose is a better word. At the end of the day, this is still my choice. But I wasn't certain until today. I saw something. What did you see? Back during the occupation, I killed so many innocent people. Made orphans out of so many children. I've been facing that for the last 20 years, but today was the first time I've faced it in person. It's the seer and those two companions he had with them. Okay, this is one of those moments where I wish I had face cam because as soon as I, I kind of read a little bit ahead, just like I do that, I read ahead even as they're speaking, but. As soon as I saw that, I was just like, my eyebrows like raised up and I was just like, Ugh. like I wanted to scream, I wanted to scream like, oh my God, in the middle of this. But I was like, no, I can't. I must repress it. I must hold it in because I want to wait until the line is actually said to say anything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All the other people who are like, oh, you're a familiar face, and he's actually recognizing it. Fuck. You mean Valesa and Fortem? Yes, Lilith. All three of them. I couldn't put my finger on why they looked familiar, but I just realized it. And I know I need to take action. He places his head back in his hands, almost ashamed. Spitting images of people I killed during the occupation. I have no doubt in my mind that their parents died by my hand. I played a part in condemning them, forcing them into this war. He clenches his fist, trembling as he looks up at Lilith. And now, I must play my part in ending it. I'm going to those tunnels, right now. Oh, maybe that might be a good thing. Please tell me that will stop Sovi from actually doing anything right now. Hey. Alright, let's have a little chat with Pro. Uh, anything else you could tell me about Mazeo? Not really, to be honest. You've already seen pretty much all it has to offer. It's constantly busy, and it never really stops. I can't even imagine living close to the docks. 
They work overnight, so oh, whoa, it'd be whoa, too loud to there. sleep. The best places are either Grizz's area or our HQ. So maybe we can talk more about that once you see it. It's so silent underground, you can hear almost everything. Makes it pretty easy to sleep. If you get the time, that is. What are your thoughts on Valessa? She's pretty cool. Seems to be pretty by the book. I mean, I don't see her breaking any laws or anything. I don't roll like that. Obviously, I live in a moral gray area. That's not to say she's uninteresting, though. I just don't see myself Hello, getting too smooth. close to her. It's better for me to stick to like-minded people. Good to see you in here. Who knows? Maybe she'll prove me wrong. War has its way of compromising almost everybody. I was born into this life, but I'm sure others can adapt to it. Uh, alright, so what do you think about Fortum? Now, he's a guy I could see myself getting along with. Can't wait to spend some more time with him in our HQ. He speaks his mind, he's energetic, and he's careless. Yes, say that like it's positive, and every single time that's mentioned, it kind of makes me regret thinking for him. Wait, am I talking about him or myself right now? Uh, yeah, you get the idea. We're like peas in a pod. I'm sure we'll have no shortage of good times. Maybe you need to appoint Valessa his advisor so he doesn't fucking go all over the place. <laughs> what are your thoughts on me? Oh, <laughs> You sure like putting me on the spot. Uh, I, I think you're cool. I mean, from what I've seen. At first, I didn't really have a clue, but it's better now. You've had to make some tough decisions, Seer. That's one way to gain my respect. Push through adversity. I still want a one-on-one -on -one interview with you in the future, though. It seems like you're starting to become quite important. I'd hate myself if I missed the opportunity to probe your mind. That's something we can talk about later on, though. We're busy. A note, something that is ref that is reinforcing the fact that I think Pro is a husky. I've seen facial expressions on him basically be mimicked by my husky border collie mix. So, yeah. It's, it's probably the husky. <laughs> How often do you walk this far? Pretty much every day, except for the last couple of weeks since I was in Valinorth. It's not too bad once you get used to it. I absolutely adore walking. I mean, he is he is cute, but uh, uh, in terms of designs, I like people like Dominic and Ulrich more. Um, he is cute though. <laughs> I've I, <laughs> I, I every I've. I follow a couple people on Twitter who are also streaming this game. I don't know if any of them are online right now, but they've been streaming this game at other days during the week, and I've been like... They've always denounced it like, All right, time for a new episode of Boyfriend Simulator! <laughs> I'm like, I can kind of see why. <laughs> you are put together with a fairly attractive cast that only right now has one major female. <laughs> so yeah, I can see why. <laughs> I guess it'd be two if you have a female player character, but yeah, since I did choose male in the beginning, it basically is like, yep, so many game options. I'm, I'm bisexual, so either way works for me, so. It just takes some getting used to, that's all. Sometimes when I have it in me, I can even sprint. Running to the market from our HQ is pretty intense. Okay, that, that... That's not husky. When you have it in you, no. <laughs> a husky can, like, get up and run if you need it to. <laughs> well, except for my older husky shepherd mix, who's just... She's 12 or 13 now, actually. She's friggin' old. She can't run and sprint like that, but... Our younger, the husky border collie mix, absolutely can. Nobody is interested in doing it with me, though. I need a workout partner to keep things interesting, you know? Everybody else defines working out as sparring in the barracks. Well, both are valuable. Prodomic and Sovi are your favorites. Uh, Sovi's, in Sovi's interesting from a personality standpoint because I love watching him whenever he's. The I love watching him as a villain. But yeah, from uh, from a design standpoint, I like Ulrich just a little tiny bit better. 
Although there's some emotions that are like, ooh. There's some emotions that I get from Sovi that have like the the tingle down the back, like, ooh, like, okay, that's that's actually kind of cool looking. Uh, but again, always within the context of a villain. Uh, okay. Not very much there. So... The church looks so out of place. I've never seen anything like it before. It doesn't look Mosaian, that's for sure. That looks creepy. It's modeled after Balteus. That's what things look like over there. Ooh, gothic. And that's where we're going next. Just great. Now I'm even more afraid. Who makes stuff like this anyway? Your guess is as good as mine. It doesn't fit in with any part of Alestia. Balteus is really distinct. It's kind of cool. I'll take your word for it. Okay, so is there anything else here that I could... What's this? That's the bridge we used to come here. It was structurally sound, but didn't feel like it. Part of me was scared that it would fall apart under, from under us. Domic showed no signs of worry, however. That put me at ease, since he was a local. If he was scared, I knew I'd be as well. It's a statue of a cloaked figure, but we're not sure who it's supposed to be. There's only two of them. It can't be the Triumvirate. If there were, then there'd be three statues. But where would this third statue go, anyway? Maybe it's just a space limitation thing. Either way, they look mysterious and brooding. It makes the entire church give off an eerie vibe. The architectural style wasn't helping it, either. If you put one, like, over here in a triangle one, it'd work. Uh, is there anything else that I can look at? The other one. That was the exact same thing, so I guess it'll move on. As soon as we enter, Domic walks down the center aisle. He trails a finger along the pews as he does, gathering up dust. Not much time for triumvirate worship these days. He makes his way to the spirit idol at the back of the church. Clapping his hands together, he frees himself of the dust. This is the spirit idol of Maseo. Or so we thought until recently. It remains dust-free, unlike the rest of the church. He places a hand on the altar, looking up at the idol. We assumed it was dim and dying. You know, like the idol back in Valinor. But that's not the case at all. We were shocked. The reason it's dim is because it's receiving power. However, the source of the power is deep underground. That's what the Triumvirate has been digging for. The entire reason for their occupation. And now, it's in the hands of the Rebellion. First their sword. <laughs> Now, the idol they sought. He turns back to face us, a wide smile on his face. It would seem the tables are turning. Feel free to rest for a few minutes. There's still a bit of a walk ahead. Damn it. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> More walking? When are we going to get to rest? Trust me, you'll get plenty of time to rest. Just take a breather before we continue. He points to the pews before walking over to a door in the back corner. This door will lead us to the tunnel, Seer. It's the final stretch. I can promise you that. Whenever you're ready, let's head on down. He presses his back against the wall and crosses his arms. Everyone seems glad that he was offering us a brief, brief reprieve. I'd take a few moments to collect myself before we'd head down. Oh, fuck. There's another Sovi already. Uh, I'm going to save. Alright. Uh, return. Sovi 6. Continuing their adventure through the dock, Sovi keeps close to Shane. Leading everybody into a secluded back alley, he lets out a loud sigh. It was nice to get away from all the noise. Mazaeans were obnoxious. What gives? This isn't the way to Valinorth. But I guess you do like going backwards. Oh, we'll get there yet. I just have some business to tend to. Shane, can I talk to you alone for a moment? Shane nods and follows Sovi deeper into the alleyway. Halen takes note and stands guard, ensuring their privacy. Look, something important has come up. You're aware of our moles within the Rebellion, right? Alleged moles. Yes. 
Well, I found this at our drop point. I think it's something you'll be interested in. Sylvie holds out a letter, prompting Shane to take it. It's a letter written by Domek. Why is this important? Just read it, Shane. It's from Domek to Valnort's elder. It seems your capture was just part of his plan. Uh-oh. What? Shane keeps reading the letter, his eyes shooting wide open. Every word was like a knife to the heart. He was betrayed. He wanted me to get captured? Look at this. It says he hates me. Wait a minute. I hope I'm not tempting fate with this. But Domic has yet to write anything so far. So I don't know if he's actually written this letter or if this is a ploy. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. But your mission was only a cover. He wanted to kill you off, Shane. That's not true. I refuse to believe this. I know, Domic. He wouldn't do this to me. Are you sure about that? It makes sense when you think about it. He sent you there to gain intel, right? Yeah. He already had all the intel he needed. That was the purpose of the Exodus Raid. They mapped out our entire castle, Shane. What intel is there left for you to gather? None. Domic just wanted you out of the way. Okay, yeah. I think th right now this is a backstabbing ploy. Or he's... Yeah, he's trying to get Shane to backstab Domic. Um, because... He's been talking still a lot of shit about Pro needing to do it. And that the Seer will be working with Pro. So, it sounds like he still needs intel. And I'm assuming that means he's also twisted the purpose of the raid itself. We'll see. No. We were merciful enough to give you a chance, Shane. We could have killed you, but we still found value in your life. I think that's way more than anything Domic can say. It really does look like his handwriting. God damn it. I have no reason to lie to you, Shane. I know what it's like to have your world torn apart. It seems like all hope is lost, doesn't it? What should I do? You were planning to run away, weren't you? Maybe you thought you could lose us in the crowd? It's a good idea. But there's no home left for you there. Why did you wait until now to show me? Because I have a favor to ask of you, Shane. And remember, I would never abandon you. I've had every opportunity to kill you. I'm still taking this a little bit favorably, which says that Sylvie is a gaslighting prick. But... A favor? Uh-oh. <laughs> Sylvie takes back the letter while he watches Shane fight back tears. It was a hard thing to accept being disowned by your family. But it was a pain that Sylvie knew all too well. He could relate. Uh-oh. He didn't respond just yet. He watched a silent rage build up within Shane. That would be perfect. For rage was an invaluable tool on the battlefield. With a smirk, Sylvie finally broke his silence, placing a hand on Shane. Don't worry. I'll still let you visit Domic and the Rebels. It's just... I have something different in mind for you. A chance to pay him back, if you'd be so inclined. Shane's fist trembled in anger. In this moment, he was right where Sovi wanted him. Yeah, I'll do it. Shit. Okay, Fortim. Hey. 
What do you think of Mazeo so far? It's crazy. I don't know what to think. Just when I'm comfortable, something new is thrown at us. The markets, the residential districts, and the docks. Come on. Valinor is go. pretty much the same no matter where you are. To see things so different, that's a real shocker for me. I'm not sure what my favorite part has been so far. If I had to choose, though, I'd say the residential district. Being able to live free from the noise and free of work? That's like a dream come true. Everywhere is so noisy. I assume you get used to the noise, but it's still there. You know what I mean, right? You just learn to ignore it. I'd rather not have to do that. It'd make things way easier. So, just want to mention... Before I go any further with fortune stuff... Jesus Christ, I've just... Everything else has been relatively straightforward, but they introduced the scene at the fucking beginning with Soviet the docks, and I was just like, um, excuse me, things have taken a sharp left turn from what I knew this was going. <laughs> from where I thought this was going. <laughs> so yeah, there's still a little bit of me that's like in the back of my head that even though I moved on to the conversation with Fortimore, I'm just like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what do you think of Domic? He's so cool. I love being around well, him. Give me a second. I want to learn to be more like him, if I'm honest. Everybody respects him and follows his directions. Okay, I'm going to assume that was nobody, but the phone did ring, so I'm just putting it by me, and hopefully it doesn't ring out too many times. Uh, so, back here. He's going to make a fine leader after this is over. I actually doubted the rebellion, but he convinced me. This cause is in perfect hands. We're going to do this. Dang it, now I need to readjust my chair and the setup and... Yeah, there we go. Okay, what are your thoughts on Pro? I didn't trust him at first, but he's growing on me. I know he does a lot of shady things, but only out of necessity. I have no doubt in my mind that after the war is over, he'll change. Well, one hopes. He professes honest things, but we'll see. What do you think about Ulrich? Ulrich is probably my favorite person so far. I mean, he gave me free money earlier. Free! It's all thanks to him that I got to taste a mosaic apple. Oh dear, I shouldn't have made you the elder, should I? If you're won over that easily. That's the one thing I was looking forward to. He's been nothing but friendly since we met him. Sure, he seems strong, but he's really gentle. You're making me like him more. Who would have thought that a guy like him has a soft side? Either way, yeah, Ulrich has been great. He's teaching me a lot. Maybe one day I might even learn how to use a great sword like him. Stick to the short swords. I don't know if you can handle the weight. How do you feel about the rebellion? I feel great. There's not much to say. We have everything we need in order to win. I can't wait to see our new HQ, our new home. Okay. Saving again, because, oh god, is something going to happen? The Sovi scenes make me scared as shit for whatever could happen next. Holy crap, this is huge! After we enter the door, we spend a few minutes descending into the darkness. Soon enough, however, we, we reach an area with torches lighting the way. It seems to mark a path straight forward. This must be it. Wow, it's so dark. I can't even see where I'm going. Just give it a few minutes. Your eyes will adjust. I remember my first time down here. I was terrified. He presses a his back against the wall and waits. We all do the same and wait around until we can see. The torches only help so much. We put a majority of them in our actual HQ. Basically, we only have them down here to... He cuts himself off and looks further down the tunnel. Everyone quiet. Backs against the wall. Now! We do as instructed, and I notice an aura of fear overtake us. I stare down the tunnels, and I see a suit of armor starting to emerge. White and gold, just like my vision. It takes slow, clunky steps. I look over at Valesa and Fortin. She's fine, and he's shaking. He glances back at me, and I nod, letting him know that things will be fine. 
It isn't much longer until the suit of armor reaches our location. It stands between all of us as we press ourselves against the, against the wall. It's almost like it can't see. It has no idea that we're here. That's odd. It even turns its head to the side, looking straight at us without reacting. After a minute or two of standing guard, it turns around and walks away. It steps echo through the tunnels, loud, metallic, and hollow. It's frightening. But when it's far enough away, we all sigh and stand at ease. We're safe now. What was that? The Triumvirate's honor guard. They're the ones that built this underground complex. We find it best not to interfere with their efforts in any way. Why is that? They're almost like caretakers, so we let them be. All we know for sure is that they're disobeying their masters. Really? Yeah, at least that's what it seems like. Rather than search for the idol, they built a utopia. I think that was the choice of the spirits inside them. Spirits? Yeah. They were created by the Blade of Exodus. The spirits inside are victims of their vicious occupation. Right. Then it's just like the seer said. Wait, victims of the occupation? Yeah, it's sad, really. They want to live again, so they built a home. Valessa looks sad and takes a few steps back. It doesn't take a genius to realize what she's thinking. Having been a few minutes, her vision is adjusted. Sorry about that, everybody. Those things are brittle and weak. If we so much as bump them, they fall apart. Wait, really? Yeah, there's nothing inside. They're controlled purely by spiritual energy. They were strong at first, but they're weak now. It's almost like it degraded over time. Who knows, maybe we can even power them with that blade. A bit of irony, right? Use their own forces against them. This is all so complicated. Yeah, and I'll admit that even I don't know everything. But we won't get to that point if we don't keep moving. Motions to the end of the tunnels. So, shall we? We all nod as we continue to move through the tunnels. However, Domic seems distracted. There's something on his mind. I guess even a man in his position can't have a grasp on everything. Everyone makes conversation amongst themselves as we continue. Perhaps it would be a good idea to talk with Domic a little bit more. It seems like we still have a bit of walking ahead of us after all. Okay, interesting. The only thing we have is a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with Domic. As we walk down the tunnels, I make my way to Domic's side. I ask him what's on his mind, and the people behind us give us space. I'm thankful for their consideration as we finally get some one-on-one -on -one time. What's on my mind? Oh, it's nothing too major. Say, can you keep a secret? Okay, we have a choice. Uh, we have a choice, and we have people in the chat. So, our choices are, A, of course I can, Domic. B. For you, anything. C. Depends on what it is. Or D. You didn't kill anybody, did you? Ooh, I am very, very tempted to do the flirty thing because it might actually reveal shit. <laughs> Flirt with pragmatism! <laughs> but, um... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little like, maybe... Maybe there's, there's so much shit. <laughs> there's so much shit that's gone down in like the last two, in the last three parallel chronicles that like my mind is just like, oh my god, new information. <laughs> um, oh boy. Uh, no responses. So you know what? I am going to do flirt with pragmatism. Again with the flattery. You already made a good impression, you know. If you keep doing that, I might just get the wrong idea. He blushes, he blushes and shuffles in place, embarrassed. I'm not sure he trusted me so easily, but I'm not complaining. Sometimes it's hard for someone in a position of power to have confidence. About that suit of armor earlier, I think I scared everybody with my caution. 
Uh, between you and I, that was a bit of an exaggeration. Like I said, those things are brittle and weak. I just didn't want anybody to knock them over, you know. If we kill one of them, what happens to the spirits inside? That's... Kind of terrifying, honestly. That's a good question, actually. <laughs> I want to find a way to free those spirits trapped inside. Something tells me that killing them won't accomplish that. This is the sole reason why I tell everybody to leave them alone. Ah, oh, they're harmless. They mind their own business. It's my belief that we should give them the same courtesy. That is, at least until we find a way to give them more freedom. Though they don't serve the triumvirate, they're still trapped. Nobody should be forced into a position like that. They're just like us. Spirits of family and friends. Spirits of innocent occupation victims. You know, that's a loud sigh, like the ability to vent is a godsend. I can tell that this is something he's been keeping inside for a while. Sorry for rambling on. I think I'm just trying to defend myself. Last week I accidentally bumped into one. It crumbled and fell to the ground. I felt absolutely awful. It's like I killed them. Who knows how many spirits were inside that one suit. I mean, in this war, I have to draw blood. I have to kill. But normally I reserve that punishment for our enemies. We're talking about the spirits of long lost family here, Seer. I feel like I did something wrong. I almost feel like I'm a murderer, you know? It's odd how blurred those lines can be in war. Kill the enemy leader? You're nothing short of a hero. But kill a citizen going about their business? You're a monster. Maybe at the end of the day, that's what we are. Monsters. Alright, we have another choice. A. You're not a monster, Damik. B. You're more like a hero to me. Or C. It's war. Morality is always grey. Oh boy, I am going to have a sip of coffee. I drink decaf, I just still like the taste. It's early in the morning, I like the ritual and I like the taste of coffee. Because you don't, you don't get the same... Like, there's plenty of other drinks out there, but you don't get the same effect as a cup of coffee with tea in it. Uh, <laughs> a cup of coffee with tea in it. A cup of coffee with a little bit of creamer and sugar in it. Taste-wise or, uh... Even texture-wise. Like, tea with, tea with cream doesn't do it for me. I've tried it before... I've liked it occasionally, but it doesn't hit the same notes to me that coffee does. Okay, nobody's responding. Uh, I'm just going to go with, you're not a monster, Damik. Maybe once this is all over, I'll believe that. I guess there's one big difference between us and them. When we rule the world, we'll stop killing. That's not us. Well, again, one hopes, but you are speaking of a utopia. Tough decisions. It sucks, but yeah. I also could be a cynic, so I don't know. We continue walking down the tunnels while he vents. I can understand where he's coming from, and I can relate. It was all about the greater good, regardless of what he did. Oops. Have I had that? Yes, I've been having that up the whole time. Shit. <laughs> uh, we continue walking down the tunnels while the uh, I did that. Everybody expects me to lead us to victory. They call me a master strategist and shower me with praise. But at the end of the day, I'm just following in his footsteps. Salus is, isn't it? Salus was the master strategist. I just worked under him. They say I fill his shoes quite well, but I don't think that's true. I think they need something to believe in. They need hope. They pushed that need for hope onto me, and I became that hope. Honestly, I think I'm more of a symbol than anything else. I'm sure you know what I mean. You're the seer. Poor Damek. You had this role thrust upon you whether you wanted it or not. It's kind of the same for me. I'm the general. I had no say in the matter. This pressure and all those expectations. I'm afraid I might break. Do you have 
Any advice? Okay, we have another choice. A. Let's share our burdens together, Damik. B. Be honest with the people. Confide in them, too. C. I think you need to grow some thicker skin. D. Just ring it. What's the worst get that could happen? Or E. I don't know. I'm still figuring that out myself. More coffee. The one bad thing about coffee... It's gonna make me want to piss like a racehorse when I'm done. I've already had to stop sessions because I've had to... Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have a response. Uh, but yeah, just to finish that thought there. I always hate... <laughs> I should stop drinking coffee when I'm about to stream because it always makes me want to piss, as a ra piss like a racehorse. And then at the end of it, I'm like, ah, I need to wait just like 15 more minutes so I can finish the scene. But yeah. <laughs> oh. Perils when streaming. I still need to figure out some of those logistics still. <laughs> All right, we have a choice for B or A. Uh, I kind of di did a flirty one earlier, and I'm thinking I want to go with the... just the straightforward one for right now and see if I get a heart-to-heart -heart later that would cause me to flirt. Um, or an option later that would allow me to flirt. But I think right now I'm just going to go with... Since it's B or A, I will go with B and do that. Be honest with the people. Confide in them, too. You don't think that would make them doubt? Their mighty leader full of stress and worry. I only told you because I thought you could relate. But I guess honesty is the best solution. Maybe I should lower their expectations a bit, yeah? I'm just... Dormek. I'm not some invincible symbol of hope. I guess there's not much more we can do, huh? Perhaps we'll have some more time to talk later on. My doors are always open to you, Seer. I promise. I... Uh, it's been so long since I've watched Doctor Who, but all, all I can think of is... I'm an alien. You sound like you're from up north. Lots of planets have a north. Like, I get the exact same feeling with, like, Damek's accent. <laughs> you're a wolf, but you sound like you're from up north. Lots of countries have a north. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's just it's it's been so long I don't even know how I remember that off the bat off the top of my head but yeah but every single time I listen to Domic like everybody else does not have that accent so it's just like I hear Domic's it just it just constantly makes me think of that he gives me a slight smile and we continue to walk. <laughs> the end of the tunnels is growing ever closer. It seemed like the leg of the journey was over. Okay, so I guess we have to do map and then head to main entrance. As soon as we can't exit the tunnels, it's immediately easier to breathe. Sunlight pierces through the ceiling with the surface in sight. Those tunnels must have started low and worked their way up. However, the exposure to the surface doesn't compromise our privacy. There's no way anybody would find this place unless they knew about it. And from what I could tell, only a select few did. So we were perfectly safe. Ah, home sweet home. I'd like to welcome you all to our new HQ. It took some coercing with the mayor, but it's ours. Wow, this place is incredible. And the Honor Guard built all of it? Essentially, yeah. With a few finishing touches by ourselves, this is what they've been working on for 20 years. Shit. That's crazy. All of those weapons, too. It's almost like they made it just for us. We can dream, but I doubt it. Hey, Ulrich, Pro, can you show them around? He motions toward Valessa and Fortin. Sure. You got it, boss. Probe is being overly polite, likely to make it up to Damik. He sneers at Pro in reply, still a little upset at his slight delay. However, moments later they all leave the room together. Damik turns to face me with just the two of us in the lobby. A few rebels run from room to room, going about their business. I can tell from the way that they move that they don't want to disturb us. Well, what do you think? This is it. This is our home. <laughs> Oh my god, this is 
じゅう<laughs> okay,、uh, another choice. A. It's so cool. I'm in awe. B. Our home. You want to move in together already? <laughs> C. You've you should have cleaned it for my arrival. Or D. A few ye more years of cleaning and it'll be a tip that we already have a response for B. <laughs> Let's do it. You want to move it again? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, there's been some other ones that have been like. <laughs> there's been some other responses that have been like. affectionate flirty. This is like. <laughs> this is the single most direct flirt line so far. <laughs> God, you know what I'm gonna save, so like, because I want to see like some of the other reactions to that later. Okay, B, you moving <laughs> together already? What?、Uh, that's not. <laughs>、uh, you know what I meant, Sia. <laughs> <laughs> He smiles and shuffles in place. Well, time to start the grand tour. Let's see, where should we go first? <laughs> we flirted with him almost at the wrong moment, maybe. <laughs> But <laughs> he smiled, so. He plays his hand on his chin, losing himself in thought. Ah, of course. The library and the barracks. He points to two of the nearby doors. The library is great for studying, and the barracks, that's for socializing. You'll definitely want to meet your new allies. Excuse me while I stifle a yawn there for a moment. So, let's start with those. After that, we can go to your personal quarters. That's right, all of you are getting your own rooms. My own room? It was pretty impressive. This place must go deeper than I thought. I nod and smile as I start to follow Damek. We were finally here. I felt like I could relax now. This entire journey has been just one thing after another. But now I can rest and have privacy. I'll never take it for granted again. Whoa! Okay, okay, okay! What the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? Somebody had a shadow here! What the hell? What happened? What happened? He's just gonna gloss over that game? Fucking what? That looked like Sophie! Why? Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see why I don't play horror games? <laughs> I'm fucking freaked out by a, by a little flash of something in a fucking visual novel. No. <laughs> okay. Let me take a moment to calm down because Jesus Christ. Okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> this is when the game has decided to just throw all this shit at me, like, alright, you got the gist, time to throw you into the real shit now! <laughs> oh boy. Okay. The library and the barracks are accessed through this area. Use the map icons by the two doors to navigate to these optional areas. To move to your personal quarters, you must return to the region map. Okay. Uh, lib uh, library and barracks. Let's go to both of these. Go to library? Yes. When we enter the library, Domic rushes forward. He closes a few books and tidies the room as I catch up. Ah,、uh, terribly sorry about the mess. It was impolite of me to leave it this way. After a few more moments, he stops cleaning up. Come on. There we go. It didn't really bother me. He's just trying to make a good impression. Well, there's not much to say about the library. 
As the dust would show, it doesn't get much use. But you'll find books here on pretty much everything. It's a great place to brush up on stuff you might be rusty on. It has a decent collection too. If it's out there, it's probably in here. Feel free to use it at your leisure. It's quite peaceful. He smiles as he makes his way back to the main landing. The place was pretty big. I'm surprised they have so many books. It's almost a shame they don't get much use. Maybe you can change that. The Rebel HQ library contains every book you've read on your journey. Brush up. Excuse me. Brush up on knowledge and check on the status of books in, in your collection. It's a great way to read books without revisiting older areas. Okay. Okay. Oh, you know what? I bet that is from the, uh... What the fuck is it? I've already forgotten... East Crown! There we go. It's from the East Crown location that I still haven't been able to find yet. Uh, we'll head back for right now. Uh, and we'll head to the barracks. We enter the barracks and Domic quickly looks around. There's a bunch of rebels practicing with swords. Those training dummies seem to get a lot of use. Well, this is basically our training room. It's a great place to socialize as well. I'd consider it our main hub, actually. If you can't find a comrade, they're probably in here. There's a bunch of seats at the back for when we eat meals. I guess that makes it a bit of a cafeteria too, doesn't it? Anyway, there's not much more to say. Make use of this room at your leisure. I'll meet you back outside when you're ready. Makes his way back to the main hall. I stand and watch the rebels practice their sword play. There's so many of them. This really was a sizable army. In this room, you can rewatch all previous party banter. It's great to revisit content without moving through a ton of old areas. The letters for a list of which party banner is located in which grid spot. Okay. Cool. I have quite a bit of party banter unlocked, but it seems like we have a little bit more. So let us... Head out and continue to the main area. But those are those are cool. Good to look into. So, personal quarters. We enter my personal quarters after a small trek through the HQ. It's larger than I thought it'd be. The bed as well is quite big. This isn't much of a tour to be had, so Dominic sighs in relief. Well, that about ends the tour. After this, it's just the crew quarters and the war table. I imagine this is where you'll spend most of your spare time. He walks to the back of the room and respects the shelf on the wall. Moving books and papers aside, he seems a bit sad. This room belonged to Shane. He was dear to me. I sent him on a dangerous mission to the Triumvirate's castle. He's been gone for a while, but I know he'll be back. I can feel it. Fuck you, Sophie! So try not to get too comfortable, all right? This is just where you'll stay in the meantime. I wouldn't want Shane to think I forgot about him. I nod. That makes perfect sense. But I wonder why he was inspecting the shelf. He stopped empty-handed, so he didn't find what he wanted. You deserve a lot of rest, at least for today. Just follow me for a little bit longer. We're almost done. I'll show you where your comrades are staying. Okay, we have another choice. A. Of course. Lead the way, Domic. B. Are you sure you don't want to spend some time alone first? C. Come on, let me sleep already. Or D. Alright, let's continue. Yeah, this is... This session is... Really hammering in how much of a prick Sophie is. <laughs> Say. <laughs> uh, okay, we have an answer. Uh, of course, lead the way, Dummick. Thanks for being so accommodating. I'll meet you outside, Seer. 
He walks back toward the door and waits outside. I guess it was time to finish this tour. Finally. The crew quarters was the next stop. Okay, there is a book here that I can read. Let's see if we can find it. There's a bunch of scrolls and books on top of the shelf. They must have belonged to the previous owner, Shane. As Dominic mentioned, this used to be his quarters. A bit odd to give them away if he's still alive, though. After investigating more, a bit more, I find his journal. The last entry is regarding his upcoming mission. Shane's journal. Dominic has tasked me with something risky, but I know I can pull it off. I've never let him down, and I truly owe him my life. He wants me to get caught on purpose. I know, it sounds stupid, but if I can get behind enemy lines, my insight could be invaluable. We know a lot about their castle, but we still know next to nothing about the Triumvirate themselves, let alone the forces of the Inquisition. This is my chance to expose them. So many questions, finally answered. I'll have to brush up on my acting and make it look like I'm actually getting caught. That'll require some planning, but I'll make sure that it seems natural. They'll likely starve me, or torture me, or worse. But I'll endure it. It's nothing new to me. I've endured it all in the past before Domek saved me and took me in. I'll survive it again for our cause. And for him. All for him. Shane. So he was scared, but loyal to Domek. Good thing Domek isn't the type to take advantage of that. I'm sure Shanton would carry out his goal just fine. Definitely. Are you fucking saying that because of that stupid Sylvie fucking gutsy? <laughs> Wait, I wanted to see what the other options would result in. Now, nah, I'll just go ahead and save. Save over that one before I get to a big decision. Okay, crew quarters. After exiting my room, he takes me to a large hallway. At the end of it is a grand door, surely leading somewhere important. Lining the sides are smaller doors. I assume they lead to more private rooms. That door right there leads to the war table. That's the end of this tour. It's where things start. I'll go over our battle plan and give you an itinerary. Your training will commence tomorrow. I can't believe this is finally happening. It almost feels like a dream, you know. He lets out a nervous laugh before turning to face the large door. Well, these doors on the side lead you to your comrades' rooms. Valesa and Fortame have been given personal rooms, just like you. My quarters are here as well if you'd like to come spend time with me. I'm going to make a quick stop in my room, actually. After that, I'll meet you at the war table, all right? Take some time to unwind. You really deserve it. It's been a pleasure, Seer. With a smile, he walks off to one of the side rooms. I guess it's the one I go to if I want to see him. With some long-awaited free time, it might be a good idea. However, I should make sure to spend it wisely. As soon as I meet him at the war table, things would begin. As something told me that nothing would be easy moving forward. Use the region master room of the war table to continue the story. But for now, feel free to roam the world and access content at your leisure. Every unlocked character has a heart-to-heart -heart in the crew quarters. Okay. There's somebody missing. Uh, let's see. It did also say I can go explore other areas at my leisure before the war table, and I might want to do that. Because I have yet to go to the tavern. Um, you know what? Let's see if... Can we go to the tavern? Let's save. Just in case something awkward happens. As soon as we enter the tavern, the smell of ale assaults our noses. This wasn't anything like Peregrino. This was on an entirely different level. Ba bottles of foreign alcohol lined the shelves. I'd have no idea where to start looking. Good call, Seer. No trip to Mazea was complete without coming here. If it's time to relax for a bit, I'll just take a seat at the bar. He gives me a sly smirk and immediately takes a seat. A bartender, who I can only describe as overwhelmed, takes his order. 
Pro takes a few steps forward afterwards. Bleh. Pro takes a few steps forward and afterwards takes a deep breath. <sighs> you just can't beat that smell. If you need me, I'll just be checking my mail. I've been in Valinor for a while. I'd hate to miss anything. Trotting off to the corner, he starts to inspect his mailbox. Shelves with letters and numbers lie in the back corner of the tavern. He must pay to have an anonymous address or something like that. Taverns don't really do anything for me, Seer. I don't mean any offense by this, but I'll be waiting outside. That's not to rush your relaxation or anything. No, you deserve it. With a smile, he slowly backs out of the tavern. I guess this would be a good chance to talk with Pro and Ulrich. We haven't really had enough time to get to know each other yet. Less than Fortin take a seat and start talking amongst themselves. I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world if we wasted a little bit of time here. Ulrich is chugging a large cup of ale, and Pro is carefully reading over some letters. Okay. There is an actual heart-to-heart uh, -heart here, as well as some... a book? I examine the shelves, looking for anything of note. I don't find much except for a piece on some current news. It couldn't hurt to be a gl it couldn't hurt to get a better perspective on Alestia's current state. Resting my back against the shelf, I start to read it. This seems to be about Alarenthia, or Rick's homeland. Apparently things aren't going very well over there. Alarenthia's civil conflict. Could the next tournament held in Alarenthia's Coliseum be the last? That's the hope of a new uprising run by a mysterious woman known only as Vivian. Wanting to change Alarinthia's form of government into something more modern, she hopes to bring peace and organization to the otherwise savage lands. While the current tribe leader of Alarinthia has always had the ability to change the rules, none have been interested in anything other than retaining their leadership and proving their strength in Alarinthia's deadly arena tournaments. If Vivian's forces were victorious, she would have the ability to completely rewrite the rules that govern Alarinthia. However, because she's approaching the upcoming tournament with brains rather than brawn, it would require a miracle to secure victory. Chances are, Alarinthia will likely remain under the grip of Dracu's strength. However, Vivian's ideals are likely to live on. Perhaps one day, things will change. A recent Mazayan news article. I wonder who this Vivienne is. Ulrich would definitely side with someone like her. He thinks that Alarinthia should be more like the mainland. Okay. So we have a heart-to-heart -heart with Ulrich and with Pro. Ulrich heart-to-heart -heart one. They sit down beside Ulrich and look over at him. A couple empty glasses strewn about signal that he's already had a few. However, he doesn't seem to show it. Not at all. He's calm and collected. Hey, Seer. Come to join me? I can recommend a few drinks if you'd like. Do you want something strong, or should we start weak? <laughs> of course the flirtatious one is the double entendre. <laughs> okay, we have a choice. A, I think I want something strong. Or B, let's start off a little weak. <laughs> oh my god, the writing for the game's choices are hilarious. <laughs> so we already have an answer for A, I'll do it in just a second. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I think I want something strong. Perfect choice. Barkeep, more of the same. He motions to the bartender, and a few moments later, I'm given a glass. Ulrich watches me with a, with a smirk as I take a large swig and swallow it down. It's strong. Almost strong enough, almost enough to make me cough. But I maintain my cool. On a side note, I myself am, like, particularly weird about beers. Um, my two varieties that I drink the most are either the cheap, almost watered-down shit, like Coors. Like... Now, that one's a little bit funny, because, like, stuff like Coors Light and Natural Light were what my grandfather used to drink. Um, so, I tasted one uh, out of memory for him after he passed, and I was like, you know what, I can kind of stand this. It doesn't taste too bit terrible. So, that's one end of the spectrum. On the other end of the spectrum, I like stouts. 
Like, for a long time, for a long time, and I think it's still the case, one of my favorite beers is literally Guinness. I will drink, so I will drink either the, the stuff that everybody says tastes like piss, <laughs> or I will have the darkest shit out there. <laughs> I can't do, I can't do the citrusy stuff in the middle. There's a lot of um, IPAs, for example, that my dad likes that are very, very citrusy. Not my thing. Stouts, though. For some reason, I do very much like getting stouts. Um, There's actually also a local brewery. I haven't had them for a while just because they used to be sold at a restaurant, and we don't ever eat out anymore, <laughs> basically. Uh but with the COVID pandemics and stuff like that, I'm, we're still trying to keep a little. I, I'm getting there because I'm fully vaccinated, and most of the restaurants around here seem to be doing okay, at least. But, um, yeah, there's still like, there's still a little bit of hesitation on my end. I still wear a mask wherever I go, but yeah, we just have not eaten out anywhere as a result. Um, but yeah, there's. I want to go back out and have, like, a, a stout and a burger or something like that. Like, just something simple like that just would be... Sounds good now. <laughs> I thought that'd be a bit much, honestly. But you know you can handle it like that. It's strong, but not quite on my level. Want another one? What are you in the mood for? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> This here just the wit on this guy. <laughs> okay. Um. A. I want what you have, or B. Just a bit stronger, not too much. <laughs> we got A again. Alrighty. Now you're talking. <laughs> I promise you won't regret this. Okay, this is not as funny as the fucking Fortim and Ulrich Greatsword conversation, but funny. With the double entendre that the Seer's coming out here with, it's getting there. Once again, he motions to the bartender and I'm given a drink. I can tell that this one is stronger. It's exactly the same as Ulrich's. As time passes, I notice him start to exhibit signs of inebriation. I grip the glass and take a large swig. It burns. My eyes shoot wide open and I try not to spit it out. It's a brief battle, but I eventually stomach it all. Wow, you're good. Most people can't handle this stuff. Mazeo is known for its strong liquor. He crosses his arms and stares at me with a blank look. But soon after, his facial expression becomes more stern. It's clear that the drinks are starting to hit him and fast. I guess I'll stop messing with you for now. Truth is, I just wanted to see how much you could handle. It's a good test. Nice judge of character. And you passed. He was testing me? You learn a lot about someone by how they hold their liquor. You're strong, at least. You have a strong will. I respect that. This is part of how they do things back in Alarinthia. I know I say I hate it, and I truly do. But some of its culture sticks with me. You left Valinor, so it'll likely be the same. He waves to the bartender, who brings him another drink. Honestly, I'm surprised he's still coherent. It's crazy. Swinging it down, he lets out a sigh of complete content. Sorry for rambling on like that. If there's anything I hate, it's a one-sided conversation. Is there anything you want to ask me? Right now, I'm an open book. Oh, hell. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save! This choice will... Okay, we already didn't even have to read off the choices and we already have an A. <laughs> I didn't even have to read off the choices and I already got A. <laughs> Doing it. <laughs> Tell me about your love leg, Ul Ulrich. There isn't one to talk about, but that's by choice. I prefer to keep things casual without any strings. I have my reasons, but it served me just fine. Fair enough. He smiles at me and takes another swig of his drink. Don't worry. I've definitely noticed your interest. So that's why I'm making things as clear as possible. Knowing that, 
Do you really want to continue down this path? Uh oh. <laughs> we got another one. Oh, and we already have an A. <laughs> oh boy. So, oh goodness, but we already did it with Fortim, so yeah. Good to know. Because I share the same interest. When you live as long as I have, you pick up on these things. No need to make a big deal out of this. It's just fun. When we get back to our new HQ, Domek will give you a tour. My doors are open. If you want to do this, I'll be there. Just don't tell anyone. You know how rumors spread. This is where I get just a teeny tiny bit afraid. And hope that the version I have is not the... I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. But there's already a little tiny bit of me that's panicking and saying, I hope this is not going to go in an NSFW direction. Like, I'm okay with it if it implies shit. But if it says anything... Like, if it says anything or does anything, I hope it does not. <laughs> I, I think it's PG-13. I hope it's PG-13. Maybe R if there's a little bit of language and violence in there, but... It's all implied. Okay, cool. Either way, I think I've had enough. I'm gonna buy a bottle to bring to my chambers. Feel free to join me if you want to share another drink. I nod and stand up, but all the drinks in the <laughs> I stumble back and... Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I stumble back and Ulrich catches me, wrapping his arms around me. <laughs> hey now, watch your step. The ground here could do some real damage. Rather than letting go, he's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rather than letting go, he lets his hands wander around my body. My heart rate increases and I feel his hot breath strike my neck. Actually, I think I'll get a few bottles for my place. Something tells me we'll be having more fun than I thought. Oh, oh boy, is this gonna affect the heart? Is this gonna, is this gonna affect the heart to heart I have in the corners? <laughs> a few moments later, before overstepping any boundaries, he lets me go. Buying a few bottles of wine, he keeps his word before moving on to other things. Socializing with the tavern patrons, it seemed like our moment was over. I guess we had to get things back on track. As enjoyable as it was, we had business to take care of. Hopefully we had more time like this to unwind in the future. Okay. We also have one with Pro. Pro rests his back against the mailboxes, sifting through letters. He must be pretty popular, as his hands were full of paper. I can't even imagine if I got that many letters in Valinor. Oh. <laughs> hey there. He looks at me, startled, and turns the face to mailboxes. As if in a rush, he starts putting various letters in various boxes. Wait, all those letters weren't actually his? Uh-oh. Well, uh, you caught me. <laughs> uh, just don't tell anybody else, alright? This is one of the best ways to get information. Okay. We have another choice. A. You can't just go through people's mail, pro. B. Hey, why don't you let me help you? C. I'll let it slide if you tell me some secrets. Or D. I don't know what you're talking about. Then we have a C. Okay. I'll let it slide if you tell me some secrets. Oh? Are you trying to blackmail me? Honestly, I didn't think you were the type. I'm immediately more interested in you. But, to be honest, that won't work on me. I can play my way out of pretty much any situation. So do your worst, and I promise I'll adapt. He turns back to the mailboxes and raids them once again. I guess he assumed it was okay, since I was one of his comrades. A big smile appears on his face as he borrows private information. It's amazing what some of these people get up to. The most innocent people could be involved in awful things. See, I can beat blackmail, but, uh... <laughs> these people can't. It's a good way to line the Rebellion's coffers. So later today, I'm going to pay this guy a visit. He taps one of the papers in his hands. It would seem a reputable business owner is up to no good. I think he'd lose some business if people found out he worked with pirates. 
If I got him to pay me off, I could feed the rebellion for months, Seer. I hope you're not, like, blazing this out in the middle of the tavern. Like, I know it's probably full. It's probably got a few patrons in it and stuff like that, but yeah. Is everything okay? I'm not scaring you away, am I? This kind of stuff isn't for everybody. You can't feed the rebe- Okay, we have another choice. A, you're not scaring me off. Let's do this. Or B, you can't feed the rebellion with dirty money, pro. But yeah, I hope he's not just like brazenly shouting this out to the tavern. Because <laughs> as much as that'd be possible with a full tavern, it also would be kind of hilarious. Sip a coffee and we have an answer. A, all right. You're not scaring me off. Let's do this. Now you're talking. This will be my biggest score in months. I'll get it done tonight and then celebrate my room back at HQ. Feel free to pay me a visit. I'd be down for some quality time together. I mean, you still want to be friends, right? I hope all this danger doesn't scare you away. I'm not like this all the time. Trust me, Seer. Aw, oh, you, you are kind of a sweetie. Uh, okay. Uh, a, hopefully we can be more than friends. B, of course we can be friends, Fro. Or C, I'll think about it, actually. I do feel kind of bad, because he's like... <laughs> okay, we have an answer. Oh my goodness, we're now flirting with three. <laughs> Actually, technically four, because I did... Because I accidentally did the flirtation thing with Fortim earlier. <laughs> uh, hopefully we can be more than friends. Wow, that's pretty forward. Uh, does this danger stuff turn you on or something? Uh, you know what? Uh, don't answer that. Uh, at least not here. Oh my goodness, we actually managed to fluster the self-professed guy who get <laughs> got who charmed the pants off of anybody. <laughs> Look, I have no idea what you're after. But to be honest, I don't know what I'm after either. If you want to pay me a visit later, we'll see what happens. My room back at HQ is pretty big and luxurious. We can crack open a bottle of wine to celebrate my big score. I'm not going to promise any more than that, all right? He carefully places the letters back in their respective mailboxes. Flapping his hands together as if to brush off dust, he looks right at me. Squinting his, almost, his eyes, it's almost like he's trying to judge or gauge me. I gotta admit, you're a bit different than I expected. That's surprising, <laughs> since I'm usually a good judge of character. You'd make an interesting subject to write about, you know. So much drinking going on in this game, yeah. <laughs> There, I, I, at once, I'm not surprised because, like, if Valinorth had, like, a spring or something, yes, you could get clean water. But for a lot of, like, medieval-style settings, there's a lot of stuff where the fermentation process of beer and wine and some of the way in which they are made actually makes them a little bit safer to drink than water uh, or even milk a lot of the time. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of drinking. That leads to so many flirtations. It's kind of hilarious, though. Because, <laughs> yes, we've, we've now flirted. Let's put it this way. We've had the potential to flirt with... Well, everybody in the cat. Everybody in this section. Bleh. Everybody in our cast group so far. Um, and, like... Four of those flirtation possibilities have been at a tavern of some sort, either in Peregrino or here. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous how many times it's been doing that, but yeah. I shrug, unsure of how to respond to such a thing. Uh, now I'm getting ahead of myself. I apologize. Let's just stick to the plan. Bottle of wine, Rebel HQ. I have a new target, so I should probably get going. He smiles at Rhea and rests a hand on my shoulder. There's not many people I can talk to about this kind of stuff. If I have to be honest, I'd say I'm kind of glad that you caught me. Next time we talk, it'll be your turn to spill some secrets. All right? Oh, because the other one that flirts back, though. Uh, fair point. Um, 
I, I don't know. I don't know. Fortim has been... Fortim and Peregrina was actually kind of sweet. Um, if only because the other options seemed kind of heartless to me, so I was just like... Yeah, the, like, the, the two choices were, like, give him a hug or man up, you fucking pussy. <laughs> and it felt like, it, like, I felt heartless doing the other one. So since there was nobody in here and nobody was, like, telling me to do the other option, I went, okay, I'll just go ahead and do the hug thing. But the hug was flirtatious, so it's like, okay. <laughs> and then after that, he got real sweet, so yes. I, I would say Fortem kind of did, but... Yeah, so far, Ulrich's the only one that has visibly, like, actually flirted back. <laughs> like, the Ulrich was the first one with any actual, like, interplay happening. <laughs> with a sly smirk, he slowly walks away from the mailbox. I guess now I know a little bit more about Pro's true nature. But in a time of war, I guess you had to resort to stuff like that. Dominic must only allow it out of necessity. I'm sure Pro would stop this behavior once the war was over. So rather than condemn him, I choose to take him up on his offer. Learning more about him over a drink could prove to be entertaining. At the end of the day, it wouldn't hurt to make another friend. I turn back to the tavern, ready to move on to the next step. And that actually covers everything. So let's head back to the Church of Mazeo. Oh, shit! Oh, inter- Oh! <laughs> the party banter is due to your relationship with Ulrich. Oh! 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 <laughs> uh, actually, wait. Was that the one that has- Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna save here now. Save a new spot. Okay, there is party banter that has now appeared because of a relationship with Ulrich. So, Ulrich. Yeah? I saw you and the seer in that tavern. You two were getting awfully close. Your point is? I was just gonna say, that's pretty cool. Really? He never had time for that stuff back in Valinor. So yeah, it's good to see things changing now that we're on the road. I didn't know this would happen. I guess I missed my chance. Uh, in truth, he had like three up to this point, but <laughs> unfortunately for him, I just kind of chose the neutral but positive option in every, in every one of them. But again, I feel bad because he is kind of sweet. Wait, are you jealous? Uh-oh. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> he says with the gritted teeth expression. <laughs> sure. Oh, you got me, bastard. <laughs> no, Rick, I'm serious. You know, you're still free to see him if you want to. Or is the culture in Valinorth different than everywhere else? What do you mean? It's normal for people to have more than one partner. I thought the same went for Valinor, actually. Oh, interesting. So that's why I was able to flirt with both, um, essentially be able to flirt with both Domic and uh, Ulrich at the same time. Although I wonder. I wonder if later on there's going to be stuff like that where it's like I pick one option and then the other one's like, or I pick one flirt option. It's like this will affect a relationship with Ulrich and somebody else. Oh, it does. Sorry, I must have misunderstood. You're just dodging the issue, aren't you? Fortim, it's okay to admit if you like the seer. Never! Do I need to slap you, Fortim, so you'll actually just out and admit it? <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so in here. Yes, we'll travel to Rebel HQ. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's double check on some of these just to see if there's any uh, party banter that has occurred here. So, main entrance. No new party banter here. 
personal quarters. No new party banter here. Although I can look around here a little bit. Ah, where did my... There we are. Why are there candles so close to the bed? I can exercise... I can understand wanting to be warm, but fire hasn't much. Maybe blow them out if things got too concerning. I inspect these boxes, and they're full of food. They definitely sucked me up for a long stay. Thankfully, it was stuff that wouldn't go bad too fast. I rummaged through it, impressed at the selection. Was this all really provided by the honor guard? They don't need to eat. Just what were they doing? There's a table lined with pretty much everything I'd need. Excuse me. It seems like this room was equipped for stuff for a long stay. However, something told me I wouldn't get, make, get to make much use of it. My training measurement would likely be intense. Early to rise and late to sleep. I could tell. Okay, I thought the bed would actually do something different because I thought I hit the wool earlier, but anyways. Um, okay, so next is screw quarters, but because there is a very long string of heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and thus it could take a while, uh, also I'm about the usual time anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it there for right now. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> actually managed to get quite a bit more distance if I was able to make my way through uh, the majority of Maseo and the Rebel HQ, so yay, progress. Also, we have now flirted with Ulrich and Domek uh, individually. Uh, we also apparently will probably have some more opportunities for flirting among all of these. Um, we have another character right now who I don't know... I don't know this uh, silhouette yet, so this will be interesting. And then we have the war table that, that'll be coming up ne uh, next time as well. So that will be on Monday. So yes, I finally inserted the new streaming schedule. This is the uh, first full week of it. I like the schedule so far, so hopefully I'll be able to continue this. Uh, I am looking for a job, so hopefully this don't change too much. Uh, or I will be able to kind of easily work my way around it. But until then, uh, we'll just keep it this way for right now and say... Uh, updates as things progress on my end. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to Smooth23 for hanging out in the chat, for doing a couple of, um, for helping me through a lot of these decisions. Uh, interesting decisions as well. <laughs> um, but until then, thank you all so much for watching. And until we meet again on these dusty trials, have a howling good day. Take care.